sorry I'm a little bit late. I know I said 2.30, but we've been really busy here at the shop and I am a little bit behind, but I am now prepared and ready to go. Um, as you know, I started a new series on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna come live every Thursday at 2.30 and I'm gonna talk about a Maker Studio products, which I absolutely love. Last week, if you joined me or if you caught it on the Instagram TV, I found this plate actually a bowl. Um, it already had this cool mid-century modern design on it and then I went ahead and I added a simple little stencil that says Joy. This is the ceramic paint. Um, we talked about it last week. I'm not going to talk about it this week. I just want to show you what we did. Um, as you know, my theme is thrift finds turn treasure. So I think I bought that bowl at the thrift store for maybe a dollar and then added the ceramic paint. Um, I used the dark chocolate latte, which is a gorgeous deep brown. Um, all last week they had these 50% off. If you got some, that's a good score. If not, you'll have to get some. They are awesome. All right, so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about these silver trays. I don't know what it is about these trays. I just absolutely adore them. Every time I see one that's not outrageously priced, I have to buy them. I love this one. I have them around my house at home. They're kind of like a catch-all. I have one by my bed. I have put my jewelry and stuff in it. I have another one for coins. We have one by the front door for keys and all that kind of stuff. But these are just so fun. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to decorate them a little bit. I already have two done. This one, look at this one. See how the intricate, how cool is that? And then I use actually the same exact stencil I did. I use Stay A While, and I use this on a chair because a Maker Studio also has um, gel art ink, which you put on fabric, and once you put it on fabric, you can heat press it or iron it, and it becomes permanent. Another awesome product that we'll be talking about another time. But I just want to show you. I went ahead and did that one ahead of time. I just, I'm big on the old, I love the way it's already patina, and there's some green patina down there. Then I had a little fun with this one. I painted this one with a little bit of chalk mineral paint, and then I stenciled the Darlin on there. And I simply, I just used the chalk art. It's a thick paste chalk art that goes a long way. You run it through the stencil. We're gonna do two of those here shortly, but I just wanna show you what I did. And then if you notice, like it has all these cool designs. I just used my finger, and I used it like a gilding wax, and I just hit the peaks on here to match the same color and here we go here's another catch-all or just something cute on a dresser put your little your little items in there but I'm going to show you how easy this is to accomplish okay I have this bowl and I'm going to use the exact same stencil that I use for the joy on this <laughs> oops <laughs> let me put that over there okay so I already have it laid down here. I'm just going to give it a nice press because it is one that I've already used. I want, I want to make sure that it's on and adhering well because I don't want any of the chalk art to go underneath the stencil. I'm going to use the color Peace and Joy, which is a bright white. And I'm using the spreader. Now I've cut it. It was a little, let's see, where is it? Here it is. It was a little bit bigger. And you just take your scissors and you can cut it to whatever size you need. These things are really good. They're very flexible. So you take a little bit of the chalk art, you put it on your spreader, and then you simply drag it across. Get a little bit more on here and you just run it across and you just want to make sure you're pushing it through the stencil now the edges are a little tricky because it is bent there so I'm hoping that I don't have any go underneath but the easy thing is if you do make a little bit of a boo-boo you just simply take a cloth and you wipe it back All right. So I'm going to get my excess off, and I'm just going to simply drag it. I want to make sure I don't have it too thick in certain areas. Give it a nice... 
All right. And it's not perfect, it's okay, because the bowl, this is an old piece, so it'll add to the look of antique. All right. Look how the white, it pops off of this old silver. And how cute would that be just sitting on your counter or in your dresser? To me, I love it. Some people are probably like, ugh, it's god awful. But I love, love, love it. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. Now I know when you've gone into thrift stores, you've seen where you've, they've had these beautiful trays. This one we went ahead and we painted, painted white. And I'm going to use the mesh stencil, bless your heart. I just think that's a cute saying, cute Southern saying. So I'm going to peel it off. And I'm just going to center it. Some of you might want to take a minute and actually measure it. I'm more of a eyeball. And then I have this cute little swirly that was on a different stencil. I'm going to add that below just to give it a little bit more. So here we have that. So let me show what it looks like. And I'm going to use the color, can't, never could, to deep gray. Beautiful color. I'm going to snip off a, another piece of my stencil or spreader. Make sure my stencil is laid down very very nice. And then I'm going to take some of the color and watch. It was kind of hard to show you with that bowl because it had the sides. So I'll be able to show you on here. See how nice and easy it lays down? It goes right into the mesh stencil. A trick about using these stencils is as soon as you get done with the chalk art, you want to go ahead and either stick it in water or go ahead and wash it because you want to make sure you get all of it out of your mesh stencil so you can use it again. Okay. I need to be careful up here because this is a maker studio and it is also a stencil and I, I don't necessarily want to put that on my tray even though I do love a maker studio I just don't necessarily want that. And then I'm going to add, do the same color on the scrolly down here. Okay, I need to put my glasses on because I can't see. Yes, I missed a few places. Okay, so let's do the reveal. Let's see how this looks. Start with a little scroll. And now we'll do this one, bless your heart. Oh, look how cute that looks. Now I did go a little bit astray here. I'm gonna see if I can wipe it off with my paper towel. And if, I, if it doesn't, I can simply just take my paint and paint over that little section. There we go. And then before we started, I took some black gilding wax and added it. I'll probably want to use a little bit of this chalk art, and it can't never could, so it matches. And I'm just going to simply go over and put a little bit on the top. I'm not really sure how well you can see that, but it adds a little bit of depth because I already painted it white. Then we put the black gilding wax. Now we're using a little bit of the gray, and it helps it blend and stand out with the. I tell you what, these little chalk arts, they look small, but they go a long way. Oops, I just spread that a little. It's the way it comes right off. A little bit of water. And you don't have to use your finger. You can use a little paintbrush. Maker Studio has this little handy 
art brushes. And if you're interested in any of these products, I'll be putting my link underneath in the comments in a little bit. All right, I'm almost done. Again, I'm just touching on the peaks, I'm not going into the valleys. So as you can see, it gives it quite... All right, well I want to thank you for joining me. I'm just gonna recap real quick what we did. My cat, I'm sorry. <laughs> my daughter's helping me, she thinks it's funny to put the cat in the picture. Okay, so here's a little old silver tray, we painted it white, and then we added, bless your heart, We left this one alone and simply added stay a while. And then we had Darlin, painted it white and used the purple. And finally, I love this one. Simple, but it's joy. So anyway, I'll be back next week, Thursday at 2.30 for a quick another project with the Maker Studio products. And I hope you love them as much as I do. Okay. You guys have a great day. Thanks for joining me.